No, I have two types of cookies. One is the daily cookies and one is for the festive cookies. Okay, for the festive cookies, we are well known in Malaysia for our festive cookies. So the demand is quite overwhelming. For, for our daily, uh, we just started around four years ago, three and a half years ago actually. So in Malaysia, people just got to know the product because formerly we were just uh, sending it to the supermarket without any promotion. But for the past one and a half years, we are going on the ground uh, to promote our products, give a sampling, uh, sell at X factory price. So I think the, the product is going up, moving its way out. So for export, uh, we notice that we have a little bit of, uh, there's a slight difference in other cookies. Ours is actually, uh, it's Harai cookies, but it's commercialized and uh, convert, I, uh, there's a, a lot of R&D done to convert it into daily cookies where it can be eaten daily. So there is a difference in my product and the product outside. All right. So this is where I can, I can then jump into the international market quite easily. My trick, simple. When we have export, we tell them, <clears throat> I'm getting an export, so I want to go this next year. <laughs> I think that's the only way. Because uh, if you were just going out and not bringing result back, mm -hmm. I think anybody will not want you to go anymore. But every time we go out, we at least bring up something, at least some report, some uh, negotiation, and then at least some positive result. I think this is what Metro always want. So when they, we get few results out for them, and they get very excited because what they want actually, what they want to do is to push us out into the world, and not only me but everybody. So when they get, when we are already out into the world, for sure they want us to get more because this is this is what they have uh, made me an example of Malay entrepreneurs, and for SME Corp because. Uh, I was facing problem with my finance, honestly. So we went there. We went to see them four years ago regarding uh, grants. We explained to them, we talked to them, we threw our eyes out to them, cried with them. I think that's the best the ladies know. So in the end, uh, they are willing to help because they guide us to how to, we should apply for the grants because they say, okay, from what we see that you deserve the grant. And we are following every spec they want, they need, we follow to their specs. So I think it's not impossible, it's not uh, difficult to, uh, to get a SME Corp. It's, now it's SME Corp. Even now, so SME Corp keep calling us, asking the, our progress, asking us what can they do to help, but in, not in the form of money, but maybe a consultation that we might need from them. So I think the government agency are doing very well and then they are really, really put their hearts into my business because I think uh, I've proven something to them that they are very happy and they are quite proud of what we have achieved. I remember I have got to purchase or believe minyak petrol for my car. I, could, I was having only one ringgit in my handbag. After filling one ringgit in my car, I was I was wishing to, I, ya Allah, ya Tuhan ku, I hope I can reach home with that one ringgit. That's all. The, my hope is just hoping that I can reach home in one ringgit. So, 1999 was really a disaster year for me. I do not know what to do, so I went back to the Pasar Malam. I was, before me, I was also selling at Pasar Malam. I was distributing cakes to the Pasar Malam, and then my husband goes uh, buy uh, fruits and sell fruits on the roadside. So we have to go back to our old business. Okay, for the ladies, I think, uh, I know it's quite difficult to, put, to go into my, my shoes. I'm a very tough lady. So, and I think the only thing you can do is get the consent of your husband first before you enter, you jump into a business. That's the first priority that you have to do. And after that, I think it's more simple because when they, that you, your husband has already consented to, to your uh, project, I think it's more smooth, it can be smooth. And then uh, don't follow your heart that much because do whatever you think you can do but not to the extreme maximum because you have still got a family to look after. 
like me, I bring my family into the business, so it's much more simpler. If you want to follow my step, it's Alhamdulillah, you can do, you can do so, but be a tough lady. When we have a passion in our business, I think there's no life but our business. Correct? So, I brought my husband in my business. I've solved one problem. <laughs> and I've brought my children in my business so they can solve my problem. <laughs> so all in one boat. So I have everybody in one boat. So I think that's the only to that's the only thing I can do. So we go for holidays once in a while and I have everybody with me. I think that's the, the hope that I have. I think that's the, the excitement that I need in my business in my, and also in my family. Okay. You can say that I'm very happy because as you, you are telling me, I'm getting all my children together and I think that's all that I want in life now. Where, uh, where it comes to money doesn't matter, the fam family is together. And to me, success, it doesn't mean it's money. It can be a success in happiness in your family.